Hi, Dr. Galbert here. Uh, how are you? Just to give you a quick look at gram-negative aerobic rods, uh, we see a ton of these infections clinically. Um, for simplicity's sake, I divide this into tribe 1 gram-negative aerobic rods and tribe 2. Uh, the reason is simple. Uh, tribe 1 gram-negative rods are going to be E. coli, Proteus, and Klebsiella. These are by far the most common organisms you're going to see clinically in the GU tract or the GI tract. Um, they're also sensitive to ANCEP by and large, first generation cephalosporin. The other tribe is tribe 2. Tribe 2 are more resistant. These include Pseudomonas, Enterobacter, Serratia, Cluvera, and Citrobacter. These are organisms that are resistant to first generation cephalosporins and will require a third generation or a fourth generation cephalosporin or another antibiotic effect against, against gram negative uh, aerobes that are resistant, such as extended penicillins uh, like zosin or a quinolone or a penem like medication. Uh, so Important to distinguish between tribe 1 and tribe 2 organisms on the basis of their sensitivity pattern against cephalosporins uh, and for, uh, from a clinical standpoint, differentiating them. Thanks for now, Dr. Galbraith.